for our Make Code Minute today, what we're going to do is take a look at the NeoPixel uh, subheading of the light category. So if I click on NeoPixel here, uh, we have a set strip block that we're going to grab, and I'm placing that inside of a on start loop. So let's move this up here. So what, I, what I'm going to do when I uh, start up is I'm going to set a strip to be on uh, the A1 pad. What I'll do is click the plus sign, and you could pick which of the Circuit Playground Express uh, ports you're connected to. So I'll leave that at A1. And if you click the plus sign a second time, you can tell it how many pixels are on your strip. So I'm going to say 60. The next thing I'm going to do is head again to NeoPixel. So the very last block. I throw this in on start, and we're going to set that mode to RGBW. Uh, so that will initialize the strip, and then we can pretty much use any of the NeoPixel um, blocks at this point. What I'll do is just grab an animation block. Um, so this is actually all we're going to need is just these two loops, on start and forever. And then in the forever block, what we'll do is uh, for every uh, tick of the clock, the internal clock on the Circuit Playground Express, it's going to play a frame of animation. Um, so I'm going to use this Comet animation and also run that same Comet animation on the onboard NeoPixel ring that's on the Circuit Playground Express. So I'll grab a show frame of animation. Let's pick the same animation. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is turn on the cricket, and you'll see my external ring also running that animation. And so that is using external NeoPixel rings or strips with your Circuit Playground Express and cricket. And that's the Make Code Minute.